Now, one thing that I think can be a bit important to highlight is the fact that um, I have um, right now um, these two cubes in different meshes, and by default, these tools, the drag stamp rigid, and um, um, actually snapping tools over here, the geometry snap, have the mode, the layer set to uh, to, to background by default, which I find to be a little bit weird that the background is the default because it presupposes a certain workflow where, um, and uh, that is um, some people like to work with uh, lots of different meshes like keeping almost everything in different meshes uh, while other people um, prefer to keep uh, almost everything in the same mesh and um, so this is uh, favoring sort of the, the other approach where you have everything in separate meshes. But if you have this set to both, it means that it's going to snap to um, elements uh, in uh, the background layer or the, the same layer as you currently in. Now one thing to watch out for is uh, snapping by holding a um, polygon. I don't think it's very easy to, to do to get any, any useful results out of it. It's very hard to actually do. So, um, more commonly you, you snap uh, a vertice. Select something and snap a vertice. Now, sometimes when you're out and about snapping stuff, you see this, it snaps to in the middle of that edge here and that has to do with the mode in the geometry snap so right now it's at the auto which means that it snaps to everything vertices edges and polygons and also everything all these all the centers of those except for vertices i guess so if i set it to edge center it means that uh, it will only snap to the centers of uh, polygons I like to keep mine on auto most of the time and um, just hide everything else and uh, th that's not part of the snapping procedure and uh, do my snapping that way. But what if you want to snap to say one third of this one, or like 30% from this, from the side here. Well, you only have one option, and that is to temporarily add geometry to that, to whatever you want to snap to. So I could take this one, let's all see, and make sure it's sitting exactly at 30. Take this one, snap whatever it is I want to snap. That and then just uh, get rid of this uh, geometry. So, I just wanted to show you that uh, it seems pretty obvious, but uh, you might not think about it, so this, that's just a trick. Uh, so far, I've been working with two different meshes, but uh, if I go into this one, take it, copy it, paste it into the same mesh layer. Uh, now I always have to double click to um, to make my selection on what to snap. So the procedure is uh, select what you want to move with the snap tool and then activate the snap tool. So select what you want to move, activate the snap tool, select where you want to the snap from and then snap to so that's the procedure that you always follow but if you are in uh, a different mesh layer and then you can have nothing selected and uh, your object will be selected because when you have nothing selected everything is selected in order 
Now I have messed up my cube a bit here, and uh, by snapping I would like to make it a cube again. So that means pushing and pulling some points, snapping different vertices, and by using drag snap rigid I would have to actually select a point, select drag snap rigid, snap it, exit the tool, and go through the procedure again. So that's pretty. Uh, Pretty slow workflow there. So one way you can get around that is to use the element snap tool instead. And uh, it differs from drag stamp rigid uh, mainly by using the, it's using the transform tool instead of the translate tool, which the uh, drag stamp rigid is using. And um, Make sure that your geometry mode, snap mode is set to whatever you want and uh, whatever you need for the layers. Right now I'm in the same mesh, so I have to change that to both. But uh, because we have a transform tool, we can now select something and have it snapped, then select another one and have it snapped. Without having to actually exit the tool, fine, it doesn't snap there. Let me change the camera. In this instance, I've, I've changed this uh, vertice in two axes. So it might be a good trick to just wrap like that. Let's snap. From the side, and uh, you have to use the camera trick here. There you go. So it's a little bit different. It's not than from what you might be using in, in other applications like Maya and stuff. It's a bit uh, less intuitive, but uh, if you know the trick. Uh, you don't have to go into different application to uh, do your snapping. Now a couple of things about uh, oddities about the uh, element snap tool is that it does not allow you to, to snap more than one element at a time. So it's useless for um, moving, uh, for example, this whole cube now, uh, aligning it or snapping it to this cube. If I try that, and I go into the element snap tool, and try to hold this element over here, it's going to just take that element. So that's a big difference between the element snap tool and the drag snap rigid tool. And another word of caution is that uh, just because you have the transform tool and you have the rotate and the, and the resize, um, those do not snap at all, so they're just disconnected from snapping altogether. The only thing that works is the uh, translate tool or the translate handle.